Hey everybody, I'm John Lamazny and tonight I'm doing an impromptu broadcast for the technology and the design. Um, and I think I'm going to try to do these on Sunday night uh, just as an easy way to uh, recap sort of what I've been thinking about for the week. And uh, I also have a class coming up at Princeton Public Library on Tuesday at I believe 7 o'clock, could be 7.30, but I believe it's 7. And um, the class is on Android tablets. This is my Nexus device, my Nexus 7. And I wanted to talk a little bit about why I like it so much. And um, I have become known <laughs> in this area uh, a little bit as being sort of uh, the pro Android guy um, in a world of iOS devices. And uh, part of the reason for that is just my philosophy is, is very uh, strongly rooted in open source software, uh, which Android is. Android, the operating system is uh, distributed as open source. And so if you uh, wanted to make your own device with a free operating system, you could start with Android and start to build from there. Um, Google, who owns Android, um, puts a whole lot of extra value added into uh, the Android ecosystem, including their Play Store, uh, Music Store, Book Store, App Store, etc. And those, uh, that ecosystem is very similar to the um, Amazon ecosystem, uh, which is sort of run through the Kindle, uh, but also available as a Kindle application and Android store on my device, and the uh, Apple App Store, and uh, those of course are only available through iPhone, iPad, etc. Um, I guess more than anything, I want to, in that class and in this video, talk a little bit about the equity. Um, rather than try to convince anybody of superiority, because I, th I think that that uh, is a, a good opportunity just to upset people. Uh, just because I like it doesn't mean that you should like it, but you should certainly consider it. And um, part of the reason you should consider this device or a uh, Nexus 10 or a Nexus 4 for that matter is because the price is quite reasonable. Um, and price is important to me from a consumer perspective. It means that there's a lower threshold of entry uh, for people who want to have a powerful tablet or a powerful phone or a uh, powerful uh, larger tablet. And this one uh, cost me $200 and uh, has been worth every penny. It's been a fantastic device. Uh, some of the differences that you um, might see on an Android device, there are a couple things that happen on here, such as uh, widgets, right? So I can um, see what the weather is at a glance. I can flip over to another screen and see uh, what my mail is. I can see what items I have in my library right from that front screen. And if I click into it, if I enter into an application, then of course I have the full functionality of that application. But the widgets give me a very nice, easy uh, way to get the top part of my content just by scrolling through to my calendar or to the front page of Flipboard, etc. Uh, this device is made by Google, and so there is a lot of integration with Google services, which I happen to be very attached to. I, I like the fact that all of my music is available in Google. All of my um, books are available in Google. All of my uh, documents that I've written and presentations that I've uh, created and given over the last five years or seven years are all available in Google Drive and can be shared and collaborated and um, it's very powerful for such a small space. And if I need more power I can open up my laptop and use my Linux laptop and get to all those services and 
Uh, I can also go and grab my Chromebook, or my other Chromebook for that matter. Um, both very affordable devices and both very uh, portable and powerful. Simple, but powerful. Um, more so than anything, I like that for the most part, Google makes it very easy to get my stuff out. I have the ability to um, move to another platform if I want to for music. I can download all of my music uh, to a device from which the music did not come. I can get to all of my music just by having internet connectivity on my tablet. I can get to all my photos every time I take a photo with my uh, device because of the way I have Google Plus set up it automatically synchronizes those photos to an online uh, gallery where I can then choose to share them if I wish. And I do that with Facebook as well, and I do that with um, Dropbox too. Uh, but having all of these things integrated in this single device or in multiple uh, Android devices synchronized means that I have more flexibility, I have more power. And um, so this is all to say that Android is, at the very least, an equal uh, option for um, mobile platforming. But um, in my opinion, I, I would not choose another device. I, I would not um, choose a closed system or a proprietary system in order to store, retrieve, or um, back up my content like I do with Android. So this was a short one, uh, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about my uh, affinity with, alignment with, and affection for the Android operating system. Um, if you are interested in learning more about what I have to say about the device, please consider uh, visiting us at Princeton Public Library at 7 o'clock on Tuesday night. That is um, Today is the 7th, so we're talking about the 9th of April in um, 2013. So thanks so much. It was a pleasure to talk with you as always.